Mosquitoes are biting like never before in Pinellas County, and a lot of people are equating the increase in mosquitoes with the increase in home foreclosures and those vacant stagnant swimming pools. Is there a connection? Inside Pinellas reporter Len Szynski is hot on the case of the bloodthirsty backyard bandit. There's the alleged culprit, a backyard swimming pool on a foreclosed residential property whose one sparkling water is now stagnant and green. But not all foreclosed swimming pools are breeding mosquitoes. The ones I've come across have been uh, full of tadpoles. I was at one yesterday that was breeding heavy and I treated that and go and put some fish into that pond. Mosquito experts have come to rely on these little pest control experts, the gambusia fish. They are great at gobbling mosquito larvae, and just a few dozen fish put into the water will multiply to keep even a large swimming pool mosquito free. So what I'll do is, since I got two poles, I'll kind of break the fish up so they'll go on both sides. I'll split them up. Still got some larvae in here though. So, foreclosed swimming pools are a problem. Mosquito control experts tell us they're about 40% of the problem. But look what we found when we went along with the mosquito control technician to a typical South County neighborhood. We have a service request that's in Gulfport. Uh, they're having a mosquito problem from dusk to dawn, so we're going to go there and see what we can find for them and see if we can help them. Gulfport resident Jim McKenney called Pinellas County Mosquito Control because he was getting eaten up when he sat on his outside patio. He's already cleaned up his yard as best he can, dumping containers and upending most of his flower pot trays. Nothing in there. Looking good so far. McKenney's yard was clean. Even the air conditioner drain was draining nicely. But one area that's notorious for breeding mosquitoes is the backyard birdbath. Birdbaths will breed uh, this one looks, well, uh, yeah, this one, yeah, this one's breeding. A thorough tour of McKinney's neighborhood is next. On a walk through the back alleyway, we found trash cans, recycling containers, and garbage can lids, all breeding mosquitoes. Yeah. Like this stuff here will breed. Yeah, they, these are loaded with it. An alert neighbor flags us down and points to a recently foreclosed home as the source of what's pestering the neighborhood. A check for mosquitoes here yielded surprising results. I don't see any. It's only thing, well, I'm just seeing tadpoles. That's all I'm seeing. I'm not seeing any mosquito larvae. As a precaution, mosquito control treated the pool water with larvicide tablets. But we were told that to control mosquitoes, neighbors need to look closer to their own homes for the source of the infestation. We found a uh, bromeliads breeding. We found a bird bath breeding, a container, or you know, a five gallon bucket was breeding, a trash can was breeding, and the tires were breeding. So it's not mainly coming from the pool. Mosquito Control talked to the neighbors in our Gulfport neighborhood and left written information for those who weren't home before we went back on the road for another service call. But what did we learn? Don't blame those foreclosed swimming pools for your mosquito problems. Instead, look back in your own backyards. If people would, you know, just do walk around the house and dump the containers and make sure their gutters are clean, that would help out majority of the mosquito complaints. For Inside Pinellas, I'm Len Szynski. Thanks, Len. Mosquito control experts tell us that increased rain and higher than normal tides can spawn an increase in saltwater marsh mosquitoes. And that's also what's been responsible for increased mosquito activity in Pinellas County this summer. However, mosquitoes can breed in the smallest of containers, even bottle caps lying on the ground. So think like a mosquito and check for standing water around your home after a rainfall.